Hi everyone, welcome to Carlin's DIY Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make this photo pendant keychain. I'm going to show you how to resize your photo using Canva and attach the photo to a vessel. No resin needed, no glass domes, no bleeding or fading photos. Let's begin. Log into your Canva account and then in the search bar type cards. For the format, I will simply select landscape 6 by 4 inches and then tap apply. I'm choosing this format because I don't have my own printer and I'm planning to send this to a print shop. Okay, we have now our blank canvas. Next is, I'm going to add a circle frame. Just go to elements and then search frames. I'll simply select frame circle and then you just scroll down and look for the frames there so I simply select the first one without the border now I need to resize this frame because my bezel is one inch so go to position uh, select advance and set the width and height to one inch Now it's time to fill this this frame with an image. So I simply go to upload tab and then select my ginger cat photo. So here I'm just dragging it into my frame. There. You can reposition the photo inside a frame. You can also resize it by using the sizing handles. I'm happy with this already. So the next thing is to duplicate this. Just in case I made a mistake, I still have another copy to work with. So the last step is to download my photo. So that's how I resize my photo to fit my bezel tray. Now let's go to making the photo pendant keychain. So we need a photo. A blank bezel tray size 25 millimeters or 1 inch and a matching clear epoxy resin dome sticker size 25 millimeters or 1 inch. This is very simple to make so take one resin dome sticker and carefully put it down to the image. Press it. Next is I'm gonna cut my image out. This photo pendant keychain really makes a great gift idea. Others use this as memorial charms for their bridal bouquets or boutonnieres. As you can see, my photo fits perfectly to this blank bezel tray. You can use a super glue to attach it. So to finish this project, I'll just simply attach a jump ring and a lobster clasp. And that's it. It's done. I hope you like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.